Hi, welcome to Xiuhu TV. Today, I'm going to show you how to use the Zoom app on an Android phone in order to join a Zoom conference. If you're using an iPhone or a tablet, there are minor differences in the Zoom app interface, so you will still benefit from watching this video. This is a step-by-step -step video and it will answer the most frequently asked questions about Zoom. For example, am I on mute? And can they see my video? After watching this video, you will gain the confidence to join any Zoom conference and get the best experience out of it. Now let's start the demo. In this video, I'm using the Android phone on the left side of the screen to join the Zoom conference as a participant. On the right side, I'm showing you the screen of the host of this Zoom conference with both the participant and the host app in this demo, you will learn better. I will use this arrow to guide you where to tap on the screen. First thing to do is to download the Zoom app from the Google Play Store. I need the Zoom app in order to join the Zoom conference. Note that most of the time, to join the Zoom conference as participants, you don't need to create a Zoom user account. So let's go to the Google Play Store, search for Zoom, and install it. Alright, installation complete. Now let me go back to my home screen. I will usually receive the Zoom invite through email and also my WhatsApp. So this time, I receive a Zoom invite from Xiohu on my WhatsApp account. And here is the invite to the Zoom meeting. And usually, there will be a URL or the meeting ID and password. So in this demo, I'm going to just tap on the URL to go direct to the Zoom meeting. I will select the Zoom app to open this hyperlink. As this is the first time I'm opening up the Zoom app, the app will prompt me to key in my name. So I will key in my real name or the name that the host is familiar with. This is to ensure that the host recognizes you and allow your access into the Zoom conference. So I will key in my name and then tap OK. I'm seeing this screen because the host of the meeting has not enabled my access to the conference room. Or perhaps in another scenario, maybe I'm too early to join and the Zoom conference has not started. Now look at the screen of the meeting host. Xiuhu will now enable my access into the conference room. I'm now officially inside this Zoom conference. Here's a brief overview of the interface. This is where you will see the presentation or videos of your host or other participants in the conference. At the bottom is the main menu of the Zoom conference. To hide the menu, you can just tap anywhere on the screen and the menu will be hidden. To show the menu again, you just need to tap again on anywhere on the screen and the menu will appear again. 
Let me tap on the screen to hide the main menu in order to show you there are three pages in Zoom. We are now in the middle page and this page will show you the screen sharing or the video of the current person speaking. Now I will swipe to see the first page and this page is a shortcut for people who are driving and they need to listen or speak easily in the conference at the touch of the button. Now I will swipe to see the third page. This page will display the videos of the people in the current Zoom conference. If they are not sharing the video, you will see either their profile photo or their name. And look at this um, highlighted green box. It means that currently this person is speaking in a conference. Now let me swipe back to the second page. I will tap on the screen to display the footer menu. The first button is to control when I want to speak in a Zoom conference. Currently, nobody in the Zoom conference can hear me. Now let me tap on Join Audio. And I'll tap Call via Device Audio. As I'm using Zoom for the first time, the app will prompt me to allow them access to be able to record audio. So I tap on Allow. The Join Audio icon is now changed to a red color microphone icon. The red color means the microphone is still mute. So to unmute, I just need to tap on the icon and you'll turn into white color. That means I can speak now and everybody in the conference will be able to hear me. And after speaking, I can just tap on the icon again and you'll be activated to read. That means that nobody in the conference will be able to hear me. During the conference, if you can't hear any sound or can't hear anyone speaking in the conference, you might have accidentally turned off the speaker on the top left. Or perhaps you might have turned off the speaker volume on your smartphone. So try to adjust this setting accordingly. I also recommend you to use the earpiece that comes with your mobile phone when you join a video conference. But currently, I'm using a Bluetooth earphone to join this Zoom conference. Okay, now I'd like to broadcast my video so people in the Zoom conference can see me. To do that, I just need to tap on the Start Video. And I just need to click on Allow. Okay, so now everybody in the Zoom conference can see my live broadcast. Let me now, um, what should I do? Okay, let me enlarge my video by tapping on it. Okay, now I'm using the front camera of my phone and I can also switch to use the back camera. Okay, let me do it now. I'm broadcasting from my back camera and it's showing the video of my room. Let me tap on it again to switch back to the front camera. Okay, uh, remember not to place your um, smartphone too near to your face. It should be slightly further away so you can see your face properly right in the middle and also parts of your shoulder. And if possible, you should get a phone stand so you can hold on to your phone while you join a long Zoom conference. Okay, so let me now stop the video. Take note, if you can't find the audio or video button for a Zoom conference, most likely it is organized as a webinar. In a webinar, you can only hear the host and only the host can share video and the screen. Next, I'd like to find out the number of participants in the Zoom conference. 
click on this participant and it will show you the list of participants that are now currently in the Zoom conference. And we can use all this shortcut below uh, to raise hand or thumbs up to share the emoji to everybody in the Zoom conference. You can raise your hand if you have a question. You can also do a thumbs up. Okay, just remember to tap again to turn off the thumbs up. And then we click on close. Okay, next, there's one more feature is the chat feature in Zoom. Got more. You can do chat. Okay, just like WhatsApp. Can send a message to everybody. And if I go back to here, now everyone can see your message. Okay, now I'll close the chat. Let me close the chat window as well with the host. Okay, next, the host may want to share a presentation slide. Okay, so the host may share. I can now see the slides on my mobile phone. And sometimes the text may be too small. So to have a bigger viewing area, I can just rotate my phone to the landscape mode. Okay, now the host will stop sharing the slides. And next, the host will prompt you to unmute yourself. So don't be alarmed if you see this. All right. You say that the host would like you to unmute your mic. I will now unmute myself. Another scenario is the host may want to mute everybody in the conference. So they press on mute all and they don't allow participants to unmute themselves. If I try to unmute myself, I won't be able to do so. Hence, I have to wait for the host to unmute everybody in the conference. I need to step out of the conference for a while, but I can join back later using the same link. So leave the conference, I just tap on leave and tap leave meeting. And now my name is no longer in the participant list. To join back the conference, I just need to go back to my WhatsApp and tap on the same hyperlink to open in the Zoom app. And I just type in my name again and tap OK. Next, I just need to wait for the host to allow me to join the room again. Now, the Zoom conference is over. Xiuhu, the host, will now end the meeting. And we can see that this meeting has been ended by the host. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video. 
Goodbye.